times this will happen. He'll want to sit up. And this happens more than more often than you think. Okay, so I've, I've rolled him over. I'm doing all this great stuff. I've turned him. But he starts to sit up. And that could be not good for me because he can sit up and get on a base. And he can escape. And I, don't, I no longer have control over him. So, okay, here's what we'll do. So I've Turned him over, bam. Okay, so now I, I've seen him before. I, I have a thought that he might sit up, okay, but I want to try to take control of him. So what I'm going to do, I may be trying this, but as he's starting to sit up, I may have to shift my hands. So it, it kind of sit up with me. So I, I was going for the thigh grip. You know, that's, that's kind of the standard thing we do. But I, I realize I don't have control of him like I want, okay? So I'll go ahead and shift my hands here. Or I may decide to do this initially, where my hand that's closest to the head is the one that's under here. And I like this move, and I'm, I'll go for this move. So I can, it's my choice. So what we're going to do here, I've turned him over. In this case, the hand closest to the head is going to come under and hook. So I've got him here tied up like this, and there's the hook. Okay, So I'm working him nice and tight. All right. Now, what, if he starts to sit up, as, I, as he does this, I'm going to lean into this leg and with this hand, I'm going to hook this. Can you guys see this? Stand up here so you can see this, guys. So I'm on my right hip, and I've, I can get an S grip, square grip, whatever, but I'm going to take this leg from him and curl it in tight as I can here. He, he don't have his legs out here because I'm reaching up. He's stronger than me. So suck him in tight to you as you can. Now with this leg, curls in here. This toe, I'm going to point. And I'm going to cross this just like I'm doing an Osotogari on his head, on his neck. All right, so I've got this. Now watch what happens. I'm going to kick it free here. Bam. And I can finish this way and arch. If for some reason he wiggles that leg free, I can finish here like this. But you can finish with both the leg and the arm. And you get a nice, his elbow is right up on my crotch where I want it to be. And he's, he's tapping. So bam, I've turned him over. Okay. Hit it like this, all right, grab, now see I'm on, I'm on my side, I'm not on my back, I'm on my right hip, curl here, very important to control his upper, like his armpit area here, this one points the toe, and don't just like a big hunk of meat, point your toe like a throw, and then crank it, bam, there you got it right there, and there's your Juju Gatami, you can arch it and finish it, okay, it really is efficient, uh, I learned this first in the Sambo, because we didn't have any pants to grab, to control, and we found no matter what grappling sport, combat sport, it just works really well.